law enforcement looking into potentially suspicious package addressed to Biden, report. Authorities are trying to track down a package addressed to former Vice President Joe Biden because it bears similarities to explosive devices addressed to other prominent Democratic officials on Wednesday, CNN reported. The network cited two law enforcement officials who said they're unsure if the package directed to Biden is connected to those sent earlier to former President Barack Obama and Bill and Hillary Clinton, among other prominent Democratic figures. A similar package arrived Wednesday morning at CNN's New York City offices addressed to former CIA director John Brennan. The package was originally sent to Biden's old address in Delaware and was returned to the sender. Officials are looking into it because of possible similarities to the explosive devices that law enforcement officials intercepted earlier Wednesday, CNN reported. Biden's office did have a comment on the report as of Wednesday night. The Secret Service referred the Hill's inquiries to the FBI. The Bureau referred the Hill to its previous statements on the suspicious packages, which do not mention parcels addressed to the former vice president. The Delaware News Journal reported earlier Wednesday that law enforcement officials swept Biden's home in Greenville, Delaware, as a precaution in lieu of the explosive devices addressed to other prominent Democrats. Local police said they did not find a similar parcel, the news outlet reported. Authorities have also intercepted packages addressed to Rep. Maxine Waters, D. Califf, and former Attorney General Eric Holder. The packages reportedly had Rep. Debbie Wasserman Schultz's D. contact information listed for the return address. Wasserman Schultz said she is deeply disturbed that her name was attached. A similar device was discovered late Monday at the home of billionaire philanthropist and Democratic megadonor George Soros. None of the devices detonated before they were intercepted by law enforcement. In response to the threats, Biden called for an end to division, hatred and ugliness. His comments came prior to a potentially suspicious package being directed toward him. President Trump has condemned the threats and urged national unity. The president addressed the suspicious packages at the outset of his rally in Wisconsin on Wednesday night, vowing the perpetrator would be held accountable while seemingly passing blame onto the media and his critics for the current state of political discourse. Democrats and Republicans have widely condemned the threats but have pointed fingers at the other party for hostile rhetoric and behavior.